Doki, Doki. Oh, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We are on day four in the game, day three in real life. Da -da 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 -da. Yuri is still the best girl, but you know, I'm getting more and more charmed by these other wonderful women. What am I saying? Uh, this is the part where everyone is like, now the game gets really messed up, poots. It's been really hard to avoid spoilers. Uh, here's another thing, people want me to play with the game files open. Everyone is telling me, hey, you have to, you have to play with the game files open, otherwise you're missing a lot. I'm gonna do that, just, uh, I'm gonna keep it in my peripheral. I got pretty good peripherals, don't you worry. Uh, but yeah, let's just, uh, keep playing. Uh, our last save was Monday... 1336. It's time for us to write another poem. Where's my goddamn Steam library? There you are. Steam apps, common, doki doki. There we go. Alright, I'll keep it in there. I'll keep an eye on it. Death! Oh, she likes death. So you have to pick what, what they like. Maybe we should try and romance uh, Natsuki. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, wow. I am terrible. What? Natsuki? Sayori? Yuri? Who likes philosophy? That's her. Any, like... Uh, clum... Oh, she's clumsy, of course. In intellectual, that's her. Um... Dark, that's her. What? Tenacious, that's her, I remember that. Unrequited. Oh, god damn, of course that's her. Damn, the music is good. Crimson, that's her, I remember that. Melancholy, that's her. Horror, that's her. Boop! <laughs> no. There we go. We did it. We done diddly doodly that it. Oh, oh man. Oh man, I'm the light. No, wait, that's not her voice. I'm the last one here again. Monica is such a thought. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were, were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Sorry, I mixed up Natsuki and Sayori before. Uh, eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah! I'm not talking about our part in the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food! You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, out of all people? What is this conversation? Eh? I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! It's writing your name! Mon Ika! I think Ika is squid in Japanese. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Eh? Hey, hey, Monica! That's not how you say my name at all! Also, that joke made no sense in translation. Never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't so as fun as you recent Sayori's anyway. <laughs> she likes to provoke, I suppose. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah! 
<laughs> Sorry. To me, me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine. See? <laughs> Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Pizza Pie, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed any anything with Sayori lately? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seemed a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. That doesn't seem like Sayori to me. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, PewDiePie. You certainly know a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bother her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you know anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? She sounds like such a robot. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Pizza Pie. What? Me? How on earth could you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than any anything else, you know? <laughs> She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light but it was turned on inside her. What? No way! Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Pizza Pie. Have you thought that maybe you always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to the conclusion, so just forget about what I said. I'll try and talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Eh, uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from the, her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with every, everything else. Everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. What is going on here? But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and I sit in one, one next to her room. Her own. I guess it's because we roam as Yuri, we, we get to... I didn't mean to bother you or anything. R relax. You didn't even do anything. But... I could tell- Oh. 
What happened? Oh, you can hide there. I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? My thoughts. <laughs> How were you able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to ourselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. It's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to you, to me. Wow! The drama, the tension, the action. Are you keeping up with this? My god. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. I'm checking the game files, nothing has changed. As far as I can tell. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? Simi Masse? I didn't mean to say anything stupid. Bacane! <laughs> uh, it's not it's not that. I just want you to I didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, uh, I see. We are just friends. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Oh she gets it. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Pizza pie. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah! So you think that there might be something behind this after all? Mm hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerism on the outside don't always match what's going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I notice her strange behavior today, too. I also feel some concern for her. But in any case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well... I guess that was the case. Sayori? She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I... I, 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 I guess. But you don't need to put it that way! We're just good friends, that's all! Hmm. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. <laughs> Begone, thought! Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is... I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Could this woman be a little more into us? My god! Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? That's what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. It should, it should be, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. We don't, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all, baby. Thank you very much. <laughs> if there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch her ass as she'd retreat. Wait, what? I should retrieve a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher desk, and then we'll go get some water. 
She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher desk. I simply watch her movements. Simply, simply, to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerism. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and uh, methodical. Uh, okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? Uh, don't cock block me right now. We're just, uh, we're just going to make some tea, so, uh, I suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. Uh, we're just, fi we're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? <laughs> Big on, thought! That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. <laughs> or do you want me to tell me that there's something wrong with helping involve PewDiePie's club activities? Eh? My mouth gapes. Ah, I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> then let's go, Pitsy Pe. Ah, yes. Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. <laughs> Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just, something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. PCP. How come even when I do something bad, you're being so nice to me? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, we, and we can't always hide behind them anyway. Fuck, I can't read. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah. <sighs> no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend. You say? Ah, uh, um. Jury lifts her head. Pitipe, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Pizza pie. Do you like oolong tea? Ah, oh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. That must be Fahrenheit. Water can't boil to 200 degrees. It turns into gas. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really- Oh yeah, I read that. <laughs> Sorry. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Uh-huh. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Is she trying to impress me with tea? Ah. Perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and he decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. That is so weird. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Pete Pan. It's very endearing. That's, uh... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri... I, we, I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Pete Pie, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? 
Uh, what's- why is that? It's a little easier on my back. You know, I have such large... T. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah! My... Your posture! Right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have... Terrible reading posture. That's why we were we should sit on the floor Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah I have some chocolate as well. It's this bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayuri's candy reader <laughs> I take it since it'll go well with the tea you and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. <gasps> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book, I end up position that makes it even harder to focus. What is this position? Huh? Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her TOUCH! Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Uh, you can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Kawaii this ne! Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading it. But as a result, her left arm is practically... This is why you can hide the men here. Practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case... Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't look away from the book. She simply parts her lip as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively close the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... <laughs> Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Pizza pie? Simmy messy. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's... Well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, uh, not really in this kind of context, but, uh... Yeah, yeah! Uh, that's all it was! Not at all of my metaphorical penis! Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. <laughs> I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? 
Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breath. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth, and I feel her hot breath on my finger. Okay, everybody! <laughs> Monica! It's just getting hot! Okay, everyone! <laughs> ah! Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems! Pixie Pie, can you help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks! The spell is abruptly broken. Ah, uh, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolate, and in the end... We hastily clean up without so much of a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. It's the favorite time of the day. It's time to read some poem. Hey. Finally, let's check in on Sayuri. I'm really curious about her poem. Ah, oh, she looks chipper. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I, I can already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't need to worry about that, I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Uh, eh. Uh, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy, too, right? In this clip? Well, of course I am. Okay, that's all that matters to me. Thank you, Pizzi Pie. Sayori, is there something wrong? Okay, no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> all right, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. What is going on with this whammon? I'm checking the game files, I don't know. Let's do Natsuki next. Meh! I guess you really haven't learned anything after all! Honestly, I don't know why I get my hopes up in the first place! What? I didn't even think this one was bad! What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. Don't go, don't, <laughs> it's going to just sound like you're forcing it, unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. I guess since we're trying to romance Yuri, our poems is reflected as such, and that's why she's critiquing it. I'm, cu I'm curious if she would like it more if we tried her uh, in their poem thing. <laughs> anyway, Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. Don't tell me! Uh... You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? I, I didn't keep your voice down. You know, Yuri would love this kind of... This is angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I... I mean... Ooh, look, looks like I'm in trouble. I, I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you! Natsuki shoves the poem and handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step in my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. 
right, let's check in on Yuri. This is a lot quicker than the other ones. We don't even read their poems this time. I guess they- because we had to get another one for the festival. Pie, your writing has, on, has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think I ever- it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling, I'm so glad I got to, sh got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Pizza pie. During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But books are so full of amazing, inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And... They don't hate me for acting like I know it all. People say that about you? I'm not a know it all, Pootsie Pie. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, she got a mess. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Pizza Pie. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri put her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach, a marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expense of bliss. But beneath grey rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in. It's one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick it at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in a blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and abandon my peace to erode at the shore, drift 
forward and return to Earth forevermore. That was beautiful. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose it's better to compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's not a surprise she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request, but... Well, I suppose it's not bad to write some about something simple on occasion. I can't, I can't be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. We got Monica left, the thought one. I wonder why uh, we didn't get to read the other one's poems. Hi, Pizza Pack. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, uh, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ha <laughs> ha Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. This one's good! It feels... <laughs> it feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you finding inspiration in Jurin's writing style? Hmm... I guess so. I can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like light turn a light turns on inside her. Mm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation about her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in the, that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. Just... I just mean that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Eh. You compl you completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm just kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Excuse me! Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyway. Monica kind of whispered that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that, alright? Men have waifus. W women have... Husbandus. Oh, well, I don't know. I was just saying. Anyway, I share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever thought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victims of the current wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legend don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and I fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But the hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. 
I'm not your legend. Your legend does not exist. I'm with the, I'm with the breath. She blows me back afloat and I pick up the gust of wind. I couldn't keep up that. Uh, I think my headphones fell off. Yeah, I did. My bad. I couldn't keep up that uh, that ridiculous voice because it's such a beautiful poem. <laughs> you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of thing that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we have all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose meaning? Makes sense. Her poem reflected that. You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know better than anyone. I mean, you mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Two-dimensional? Foreshadowing! Monica is the one that breaks the fourth wall. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. If you are ever too shy to share your writing styles because you're afraid it's not good, it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, okay, or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can focus on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own li the literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thank you for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poem, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second! It's- is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? I thought- I thought she left. That's why she was return- referring to us three. I didn't know she was- <coughs> Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing to that something terrible is about to happen. Are they foreshadowing the foreshadowing? This is many layers. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Tuh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just wanted to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, well, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all times not to go home with her, you pick the time when she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, uh, uh, no. Uh, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri out of all people? Come on, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything was fine. Wait, what did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki, you'll be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... 
Yuri, you can, uh, um, mm, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I am useless. No, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. <laughs> and now Natsuki is panning too. Jeez, I, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, I may be the kiss, but I can't also be a leader on my own. Then I won't grow as a person. If I can. So Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decoration to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! It'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Pizza Pear. Uh, the one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty good heavy tasks to handle. Especially Yuri, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it would probably go a long way to give one hand, one of them a hand. Uh, you could always help me out as well. Sorry, I spilled drink on Edgar. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's uh... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. <laughs> well... Even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica gave me a choice and you wouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the bacon on your own. Wow, Yuri's really trying hard, isn't she? Ma, ma, ma. Look at that. Uh, Pizza Pie may not like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I never said that! How hard can it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're making excuses for Pizzi Pie to- What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking is it? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Pizzi Pie to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. And now I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I, I was just saying, though. Jace! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Pizzi Pie, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone's looking straight at me. Of course I'm gonna go with... I don't know! Natsuki. Because it might be fun, you know? I think baking would be really fun. Sayori. Because she was feeling bad and I promised her that if it comes to it, I would pick her over Yuri. Uh, Yuri, because, you know, I wanna fuck. And Monica, because she's a thought. What did I just say? I think I should go with Sayori. But we can always go back and change. Don't worry if you don't like the option. And I think K 
Ken hinted at this. Ken told me like, oh yeah, something's gonna happen on the weekend. You don't really have to play it. You'll know what I mean. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, if it's going to be with anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But... Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez! Do you really hate us that much? No, no, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh. Oh. We're gonna have to pick my girl. Well, I'd probably be most- It'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you- That's okay. I can already tell you're about to say something me. No! I was just saying. Ugh! <laughs> so, you'll be helping Yuri then, Persepa. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Wakata. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki. And... Uh, would you be able to handle back and by yourself? I mean, yeah! I already said I would be fine! Okay, okay! Everybody can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to get over? Go over? Yeah, that would- should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. Horny! Blah. Is this a horror game? How is this a horror game? But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Pudsupai? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how this turns out. That's good enough for me. Well, how about you now? What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. Uh, no, that's not what I meant at all. Ah, uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Pidicipai picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it! I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Yuri's word. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it doesn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event! Ah, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat be between each other. Huh? Eh? I turn around. Sumi mess. <laughs> I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you. This weekend. Ah, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose... I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I would prefer going to your house. Alright. 
in that case, it won't be a problem. I decide to not press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Pizza Pie. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason we have most common sense. With the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But. Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long time. I believe you. If it took her tremendous... As if it took tremendous effort... Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to... Is, is, ah! Yuri is coming... To be, it, Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I got pretty used to handing her at this point. But who knows what may end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. And I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. I think I would still tell Sayori so she doesn't feel uncomfortable. If she finds out. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious. I think we should end this episode here. These episodes fly by. I'm having so much fun just reading it. I know it's like very... A complete opposite of my content, you know, very edited, very structured, very... Very trying to like... Compact. But you can't do that here. You have to read it. That's what it's about. And But I'm enjoying it. It's really fun and I hope you enjoy it as well. I, I really appreciate you tagging along. Showing support. And uh, that's it. See you tomorrow with another episode. Squad fam.